In this example, I want to illustrate how we can do very uh, simply a t-test uh, in Excel. And uh, we, for example, want to compare two samples. Now, a t-test should only be done if we've got uh, continuous data. So, uh, for example, with uh, some decimals, we can't really do that when we are looking at frequencies. But in our case here, we have continuous data. So we've got a sample one and a sample two. And we want now to calculate the p-value, the probability that actually these two samples come from the same population. And in Excel, the equation, uh, there is a built-in equation. And as we know, every equation starts with an equal sign. And then the uh, equation is t dot test. And when you start typing, it already comes up with suggestions. And it asks for the first array, that's the data for our first sample. Uh, we cannot use the header, so we just use the numerical values. So that's first uh, array. The array number two, that's the sample two. Now it asks us uh, for the number of tails, and we are just uh, simply trying to figure out whether the samples are different. We don't uh, necessarily want to know if one sample is larger than the other. We just want to know whether the samples are potentially different from each other. And therefore, we would use a two-tailed test. And then it asks for the type of t-test that we want to do. And uh, there are different options. So uh, number one would be for a paired t-test where we compare before and after data. Number two would be for uh, an unpaired t-test if the variances are the same. And number three is for an unpaired test when the variances are different. And if we deal with an unpaired uh, or independent uh, t-test, I would always go for number three. Uh, there are some theoretical uh, uh, reasons for that, which I don't want to um, go into detail, but uh, I would always suggest to go for number three. So we've got all our data in it. We press the uh, Enter and we get a p-value of 0 0.047. Uh, so that uh, if you did uh, hypothesis testing and you have set an alpha value to 5%, uh, in this case, the p-value would be smaller than the alpha value, uh, which would mean that we reject the uh, null hypothesis. And we would say, indeed, these two samples are probably coming